Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Life seems to be improving for these people. Even their clothes are higher quality. They're still not as well off as some other places, but they're getting there. The Iglia Wastes haven't changed. Still nothing but Zoogles living here. Not to be rude, but... Right, here goes! Armor won't save you! Die. Short Rain Alpha! Burning? Oh my god! god. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, anyone else think this might be a touch too dangerous? Ridwell's right. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. This might be some decent equipment. Anything that makes battles easier is okay by me. Huh? Is that what we're looking for? Calaglia's climate became milder after the worlds merged. But this is... You don't need to sound surprised. Perhaps I'll put more faith in you then. Well, I certainly won't argue. These little ones are hardly no worth our time. Girls. Less talking, more... No, Cut them apart to so your heart's content. We're not done! Hey! It's a heavy It's a fury! It's weakened! Okay. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Can't stop here. You're right. We should keep moving. While being careful, of course. There. Is that the Zugo we're looking for? Go no further! Here I come! Glacier! Here's the Can't evil! Can't get out of sight! Here I come! Stop! Greenlander! Over? Don't leave me! Keep this! Back up! I'll get out of the way! Air drop! I want to take this! I'm surrounded! Rising Ivor! We're so close! Look what this team can do! Double so demon fang! Run the shock! First Please strike! Lantern. Prepare to be sealed, though, we don't fall. Actually, that's found to be more appropriate. Less talking, more doing. What's this thing? What's this thing? That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. What 
dispose of the trash. Now I'm real mad! I'm not done! Stay away from my friends! This is looking good! Demon Fang! Double Demon Fang! And that takes care of the Zoodles! Wait, what's this? There's more than just clothing here. The leftovers of some kind of meal. What's it doing in a place like this? For now, let's report back to Ulzebeck. So much for sitting this fight out. That wouldn't be a complaint, I think. No, that'd be serious. Can't move. Don't give up. I could do this all day. Don't you think you've saved up enough power at this point? I was just waiting for the right moment. Stop being shy and just go for it like you always do. Here I go. calm down. Pierce the evil. I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! <laughs> Watch this! The heavens must be smiling. Everything we need is here. Hopefully this will help the reconstruction start again. Hmm. You're lost in your thoughts again. It was probably the blazing sword they needed, not me. People who know you, see you. <sighs> we all have a hard time with the discrepancy between our true self and the impression others have of us. But 
I doubt such knowledge will help you feel any better right now. Hey, why don't we go back to Ulzebek? There's no point in staying here anyway. Right, let's go. Are you? How did it go? Not bad. That should be all taken care of. Oh, wow, that's great! I knew I could count on the blazing sword. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Hmm. The blazing sword until the bitter end, huh? I wonder what he would have done if I'd turned him down. Well, I guess. He probably would have been disappointed that you couldn't help him. But I can't help everyone. It's like I'm doomed to fail them. Sometimes I think Volron was right. This is my only choice. Drop everything every time someone needs help? Is that even me anymore? I talk to Nazami like I'm some sort of role model. But look at me. What future? Alfin. I knew it would be like this if I came to the city. Why did I agree to come? Alfin. Why did you save me? Was it just because you were a hero? No. No, of course not. That, that's not it. I... I just... You chose to fight because you had a reason, right? Regardless of what that reason may have been. Don't forget that you have friends. That there are people who can help guide you. That's part of the reason why I wanted you to come here with me. It's because I wanted to help remind you of that fact. Oh. From what I remember, there should be someone in this city who can help you in ways that the rest of us can't. Crimson Crows? No, not them. Doc. Right. Doc. Oh, yeah. Doc's living in Olzebeck now. have been torn down and the worlds have become one, but people still divide themselves. Some do, but not everyone. Take that tailor, for instance. You're right. As long as there are those who try to join hands together, we can move forward, even if only one step at a time. You're looking good, Doc. Hmm. You aren't looking too good yourself, though. I've been wondering when you'd show up. <sighs> so, what is it? I don't know what you're struggling with, but just spit it out. That's the reason you've come here, isn't it? I can't keep any secrets from you, can I? So, the truth is... I see. So everyone comes to you asking for your help. I don't mind being relied on. I mean, I'm happy to help. It's just that... They take it for granted because you're a hero. That must be tough. 
I don't blame you. I just don't understand. Renans hate me without question, while Danans call me a hero. Who in the world am I? <sighs> we spend such a long time as slaves. In some ways, I suppose we're still trying to get free. <sighs> Listen, Alfred. How many hands do you have? Hands? Well, I have two. And how many things can you hold at once with those two hands? Ah. Oh. You think the blazing sword can hold hundreds or thousands of things at once just because he's a hero? Nonsense. Uh, well... All they see is the legend. They can't tell the difference between Elf and the person and Elf and the blazing sword. That's your real problem, isn't it? So you need to tell them. Remind them that you only have two hands. Are you saying I should abandon people even when they're asking for my help? Not at all. You want to help everyone. That's a great mindset, and there's nothing wrong with it. However, in order for you to meet everyone's needs, you would have to grow a thousand hands. No? Even a thousand wouldn't be enough. You'd still miss something. And the people would still complain. All you can do is choose what's important to you. What will you do with just those two hands of yours? You are the one who decides, Alfred. Not the people. Not the blazing sword. But you. I decide. I decide for myself. I do. Mosgul is being used as housing for Renans, so we can't go in. The Renans there must be living pretty rough. They say it's temporary until they can relocate to Pelegian, at the very least. I hear it's been improved quite a bit since Doc and I lived there. What's going on? I don't know, but it's gotta be something big. That's the blazing sword, you know. Everyone, listen! I once fought with my friends against the Renan Lords. I did so because I thought it was the way to save everyone. I always thought that I had an obligation to fight. To help those unable to fend for themselves. But I realized... I was wrong. I can certainly fight to some extent. But I'm still just a human. I'm not a god. Or a hero. What are you saying? No way! You mean you're not going to help us anymore? That's not what I'm saying. I want to do all I can. But not because I'm some hero. Not because anyone told me to. I want to do it because I choose to. Even so, there's a limit to what I can do. And that's why... You're saying you'll be a hero. Who helps when you're truly needed. Nath. When Zephyr died, 
we foisted that responsibility entirely on you, rather than sharing the burden. Eventually, you'll be gone, just like Zephyr. Everyone dies in the end, whether they are a hero or not. We need to learn to fend for ourselves, and not rely entirely on you, or on any individual for that matter. Am I right? Right. Exactly. I believe that is the path to real, lasting freedom. For all of us. But each and every one of you will need to work together. I'm asking for your help. You heard him. The time for depending completely on others is over. From here on out, we have to find ways to do whatever we can on our own. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll be fine. Go ahead and leave the rest to us. You focus on yourself. I'm sorry for burdening you with so much up until now. <sighs> Thanks. Feeling better? Yeah. I guess, in the end, it seems I was bound by the word hero myself. You freaked me out when you suddenly decided to talk to everyone on your own like that. Those who depend entirely on others cannot truly call themselves free. A good lesson that we all should keep in mind. The people here will eventually understand. I really believe that. If everyone can learn to truly think and decide for themselves, I think they'll start seeing a lot of things differently. And hopefully, one day, they'll realize that the differences between Danins and Renans don't matter at all. So then, now that you've decided to follow your heart, what do you want to do next, Alfin? I want to find Nazimil. Not sure what she's going through, but I can't help but feel like she needs us. But first, I want to go to Niez. Niez? I want to speak to the people in different cities like I did in Olzebek. I'll start with Niez. I'll start sowing the seeds in every town, so that maybe, one day... That's quite an undertaking. Difficult for a hero, let alone one man. Well, I guess we'll just have to lend him a hand then, won't we? Niez it is then. Unlike Ulzebek, both Danins and Renans live in Niez. How do you plan to start? Good question. Do you think we should talk to people separately or together? Separately we- Yay! Hey. Yeah! Yes. Nice. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> that can't be... What? Elfin. Right! people in Niez have been doing since we left. People often need some sort of impetus to change their ways. In that sense, I doubt much has changed. Sacrificing donuts. Unforgivable! Uh, what's up with Xion? Hell hath no fury like a hungry Xion. <laughs> Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads.
We've reached our de destination. A voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully, it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with. That kid hasn't gone too far. But speaking of doing what you want, Xion, what's something you've always wanted to do? Me? I may have mentioned, but I have some general ideas. Cooking, clothing design, things like that. I haven't just... This will be a delicious piece of cake! I lost myself in the heat of the moment! Oh. Now I'm real mad! Orochi's fury! Okay, here I go! Came between heaven and Orochi's fury! Oh, the flashing parts are recalled! I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. Out of our way! The waters have don't give up! I'll bring you to the end of the we are freaking invincible! Nothing and the others truly are strong. What about me? No more playing nice! Gemini Aqua! No, Aline. Immobilize that one. Indeed. Now let's turn the tide. Remember to tell me if you need healing. I expect you'll be in high demand if that's the case. In a bind? Come on! Sleep now. Get on in there with me. Do it. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. My fists are crushing it out there. Let's dispose of the trash. Chance is the win. Radiant win. I can carve through armor. I'm on it. Here I come. Not much longer to go. Come on, one final push. Let's do this together, Alvin. Shining supernova! Did you see? Sure did. You were checking out Kisara from behind. Are you Delio by any chance? Your father is looking for you. Whoa! The blazing sword? And I remember you too! You're the one who gave us the elevator key at Glanamede Castle. Yep. You saved my life that day. I made it out safely thanks to you. Glad you're safe. My name is Alfin. This is Xion. I'm Delio. Nice to meet you. Your father told us what you're doing out here. This is a dangerous place for fruit picking. 
especially alone. But my father's been tired, and I want to help him feel better. When I was forced to work at Glanamede Castle, I saw so many people work until they dropped. When you came and freed us all, I was so happy. That's when I decided I wanted to help people too. And I thought I could start by helping my dad. But I don't have any weapons. So I thought about what else I could do. Delio. How about this? We'll gather fruit for you. Shion? Oh, really? I haven't found any yet and was starting to worry about what I'd do. Yes, leave it to us. You go back home and wait with your father. Okay, got it. Thanks, Shion. I'm sorry I answered without consulting you first. I was just waiting for the right moment. Wow, look what I just found. Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? Gotta break through! Now I'm real mad! Air we're in the home stretch, guys! What she said? I saw the frog! Keep calm and take them down! How come I get singled out? This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Prepare to be sealed, oh fleet of forces! I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Enemies incoming! Then we'll take them down! Right. Now! Sword Rain Alpha! None shall escape my life! Now go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! This one's got your name on it! Action to action! My turn! That should do it for the Zoogles. Let's let Cole know. But we're done. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Yes. Right. You did it! <laughs> right! Hmm? I hope Cole's dream comes true. I do too. By the way... Um, uh, yes? I don't think we'll have enough donuts for tomorrow. The Crimson Crows are so cool! I want to join myself someday. Nice. I'm sure you'll make it in. When you do, I'll be right there with you. How mature of you to be thinking about the future already. <laughs> The Crimson Crows isn't just it, though. There are a whole lot of other things I want to do, too. Like what? I want to go out and travel all around the world, like you guys. That's great. Traveling's a blast. <laughs> also, I still want to make something and sell it to people. I haven't forgotten my promise, Xion. I'm looking forward to you making something tasty. Have you ever thought of coming to Vicente to study? It could be an opportunity to learn about both traveling and sales. Studying, huh? Hmm. I've never done anything like that before. It sounds hard, but maybe I'll give it a try. I'll have to be brave to make life better for everyone here. Like when Alfin broke down that wall. That is laudable insight to have at your age. 
You should know, though, that balancing that with the Crimson Crows will be no easy feat. What if you put together a new group? It could be your very own crew. Traveling the world, doing business. Whoa, that sounds amazing. Okay, and we're going to be called the Awesome Fearless Dreamers. Ooh, I like it. A name like that just screams courage. Huh. Don't you think it's a bit long? Well, I suppose it gets the idea across. We got some fruit for you. Are... are you sure? Is it okay to touch you? Yes, I'm all right now. Listen, I'm sorry about what I said back at Glanamede Castle. It's okay. I was a little surprised, but Alfin told me it wasn't my fault, so I didn't let it bother me. Thanks for the fruit. It looks so delicious. I'll share some with my dad right away. Ha <laughs> ha! How wonderful! You've both been such a big help. Our actions had greater benefits than we realized. I'm really glad we were able to free those people from slavery. Xion, what's the matter? That child is just like I was when I was freed from my thorns, once I no longer had to deal with them. I thought of so many things I wanted to do. Am I selfish? No, not at all. I think it's a good thing. I'm not so sure. But after meeting that boy, I think I want to do more of the things I thought of. Is that right? Well, I'll be here to support you. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. <laughs> that means a lot. Thanks, Elfin. So, have you thought about what you want to do first? A little. I think that coming up with outfits sounds more fun than just reviewing clothing. Oh, yeah? I think that's great. Thanks. And a new look for you is at the top of my list, Alfin. <laughs> hey. Right. I got it! <laughs> Great! We owe Doc a lot. It's nice having someone you can rely on. Let's collect our thing. Hmm. All right. No. Yeah. Hmm? How's this? Yes. With this much... I hope your herb garden can grow well now. It definitely will, thanks to you. Speaking of which, I'm curious. There are Renin machines that treat sickness now. Why focus on growing medicinal herbs? I hear you. And that technology is definitely impressive. But machines break, don't they? You can rely on them sometimes, but not always. That's when herbs come in to save the day. That's true. Healing arts are useful as well, but sometimes you just need medicine. The way I see it, the most important thing is knowledge. Machines break, medicine runs out. But with the right knowledge, you can repair a machine or make more medicine. Knowledge never goes bad. You never cease to amaze, Doc. Always thinking one step ahead. Flattery will get you nowhere, Alfin. 
My knowledge is still quite limited. I'd like to expand what I know about herbs. It'd help to find a book or meet someone who knows more than I do. Then we'll try to find that for you. Maybe there's a real herb master somewhere out there. I'd really appreciate that. If I were younger, I'd go searching myself. No need for that, Doc. Let us do the footwork. You just wait here. Hmm. Who might be an expert on medicinal herbs? I might know someone who's familiar with books on them. Remember? In the Palace in Vicent. Oh, yeah! Tigrina, the librarian! So, you remember her name, huh? Interesting. Uh, hey, what's with the stink eye? Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Hurry it up, Elfin! Hey, you too, Lord Man! Haste makes waste, young one. Oh, don't even start with me on that. Come on, we're keeping everyone waiting. He's right. Shion and Rinwell must be getting impatient with us too. I don't believe that's the case. Look, they seem to be enjoying themselves. It feels so comforting to just sit quietly side by side, next to each other. And being able to follow through with something you've set your mind to like that. It's dependable, you know? Wow, you really have a soft spot for that sort of thing, don't you? Hmm? Are they talking about... Yeesh. Kinda awkward if we butted in now, right, Alfin? Not at all. We should say something. No, no. It would be rude of us to interrupt. Let us assess the situation and choose the time to make our entrance with propriety. You mean eavesdrop. Personally, I really like those light, nimble movements. There's a graceful fluidity to them. And the strike that comes afterwards, it's always so cool, no matter which way you look at it. Strike? Hold up! For me, it's the poise I'm fond of. That dignified demeanor never seems to falter, all while staying alert and being receptive to even the most subtle shift in sounds. Hmm, sounds. I know, and those big, beautiful, thoughtful eyes. I keep finding myself inadvertently gazing into them. Big, beautiful, and thoughtful? She's right. Elfin does have beautiful eyes. But if anyone has thoughtful eyes, it's Dohalim. But surely big eyes refers to law? I can't wait to see Zare again. The cat! cat! When I see you speaking with other Renans, they always look so happy. It's made me realize just how many people depend on you, Dohalim. I'm glad to be able to help, but I do feel it goes a bit too far sometimes. You can say that again. Apparently there are even some who want you to be the new ruler of the Renan people. I suspect their minds are still trapped in the Renan mentality that the strong have an inherent right to rule and should be followed. Unfortunately for them, the reign they envisioned was but a fantasy. Even in the old days, going forward, they will need to face reality. Yeah, reality with no more lords or sovereigns. Though there are still those enthralled by my title of former lord. I hope to see the day when they too can stand on their own two legs. That said, I don't think people place their faith in you just because you were once a lord. I kept it from you so as not to burden you further, but there have been quite a few requests for you in Vicent as well. Is that so? For what, pray tell? Some want you to pass on your extensive knowledge by becoming a school teacher. Others say they want you to help them learn to appreciate music. And, as a request for the elegant and handsome Dohalim, there were even some who wished to be your lover. Well, that's a scary voice. Sounds less like people want things from him, and more like they just want him. I wish people talked about me like that! 
There he goes, talking like an idiot again. When it comes to children, they all want you to be their father. Sing them songs, read them stories, that sort of thing. It's actually rather sweet. <laughs> I see. Not all things people desire of me are quite so vapid, I suppose. Yes. As a side note, I should mention that most of these requests happen to come from women. It must be wonderful to be so popular, hmm? Kisara, why are you staring at me with a gaze like the coldest winter? <laughs> in the end, it sounds like wherever Dohalin goes, he leaves a string of hearts in his wake. I certainly do no such thing. someone in trouble here. What? Huh? Hmm. Right. You're really someone the people can count on. You never fail to amaze me, Kisara. We're not done yet. The Sint is currently without Dohalin. Or my brother. I've got to handle things for now. Speaking of your brother, those siblings reminded me of you and Miguel. I can see why. When I was a child, I caused him my fair share of trouble. We must find the... Thank you. Okay. Do you think the missing girl was fighting with her brother? It's what siblings do. My brother and I were also separated for a time, though that was less of a fight and more me rejecting him. Kisara. What's that? Here we go! Get lost! Raging Tessie! Is it in the Run sky? It. It's mine! Here! Hard up! Keep calm and take them down. Coming through. Ha! No. Scarlet Inferno. You've got some nerve. Show me your fear. Here's the evil. Never forget it. Freeze! I'm Lunar It's on strong. Commander of Heaven. Phoenix Cyclops. Here's the healing arc. That's for life. That's my cue. Shut him down. Not much longer to go. Enemy Come on. Coming. One final push. It's time to finish this. Die. Consuming wildfire. They just keep coming. I'm going to need to use all the power of my power. Power. Oh, oh, oh. Here. I'll stop its charge. Thank you, Sarah. Scarlet Inferno! No one gets my green! No! I never miss! Here I come! Come on, a wall! Right. She can live with me! Mirage! Take this! Right. Swordling! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclops! There's no. a healing arc! Hey! Last one's done! You're mine! No, it's good! I'll 
crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! I can carve through all You're finished! I'm on the now! You're mine! In an instant! Impact block! We're good to go. The girl's nowhere in sight. If the Zoogles were gathered here, maybe she's nearby. Let's keep searching. Over there. Is that? I was so scared. So you were hiding in the bushes. I'm glad we found you. You were surrounded by Zoogles. Did you get hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks to you. That's good. But what were you doing out here all by yourself? I just wanted to repair my bracelet. I'm sorry. Your bracelet? You mean that one woven from grass? It does look tattered. My mom wove this for me a long time ago. And this is where my dad gathered the grass for it. So it's a keepsake from your parents. But my brother accidentally stepped on it. Even though it's so important to me. That explains why you were fighting. I just wanted to fix it. So I came here to gather more grass to weave it back together. And did you find any? Yeah, but I don't know how to weave. If Mom were here, she could show me. Here, let me see that bracelet. And the grass, too. Huh? Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. I was worried sick this whole time. I'm sorry. I just wanted to fix my bracelet. No, it's my fault. I know how important that bracelet is to you. I should have been more careful. You won't believe this, but this nice lady wove it back together for me. Huh? I did. My older brother taught me to weave. So not only did you find my sister, but you went out of your way to fix her bracelet too? Thank you so much. I sure am glad you're here in Menencia. You're our savior. I've done nothing special. Plenty of people in Menencia joined together to help. People in town were worried about you and helped with the search. Both Danans and Renans alike. Vicent is amazing. I'm so glad we moved here. In any other city, my sister might have been lost forever. I can't thank you enough. You two should both treasure each other. You're the only family you've got. And that's something special. That's for sure. Thanks, miss. Kisara. No, please, don't say anything. Not now, Dohalim. I simply do all in my power for the people of this realm. The realm my brother loved. I see. This realm has a bright future ahead of it. It certainly does. Wow, Kisara. I'm amazed you know how to weave grass like that. You said you learned it from Miguel, right? It sounds like he really did teach you everything. Yes. Just like that girl's mother. He used to weave grass into bracelets and necklaces for me back when we were kids. <laughs> Kisara? Sorry, it's just... It occurred to me that something he taught me to make me smile is now bringing a smile to someone else's face. I... I know that I could never be as great as my brother. You were the one who decided to fix the bracelet and find the girl. Dohalim. Migal's dream is still alive thanks to you. You're right. Thanks to meeting all of you, I can say my dreams are no longer just dreams. Exactly. I couldn't even hope to count all the times I've been saved by your shield. Yeah, Kisara. I can even do some housework now because you taught me. You've always been a really good listener when I've got something on my mind. And that one time I stained my clothes during a meal? I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there to help. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It sounds like I've been helping all of you more than I realized. The ideals imparted to us can still be made a reality, but only by those who are alive now, in the present, I chose that path. There's still a long way to go, but for some reason, I feel radiant right now. Oh? 
How very curious. Walking next to you, I feel the same way. <laughs>